what you gonna do when I like catch an attitude? Drop to the knees and show gratitude. Kiss my ring, chick. This song right here is for all the fellas out there. Taking care of business and making that money. To provide for their ladies, provide for their family. And to all the ladies out there. The fellas gonna need a little bit more than a big piece of chicken. If you got a good man and you want for nothing, and you want to keep that man, you need to learn how to check that attitude. You need to show some appreciation. You need to show some respect. Girl, you need to bow down. All my fellas, tell your lady. Bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Kiss the ring, kiss the ring. Bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Pay how much you're the king in your life. Wisdom and security, I give that. Devotion and honesty, I show that. Passion and love, you feel that? Bow down. Girl, you need to show some respect. Obedience and loyalty, I need that. Friendship and trust, I've earned that. Gratitude, appreciation, I deserve that. Bow down. Pay how much you're the king in your life. Baby girl, what's the deal? What's the deal? Got no time for freaking girl, you're acting mad. You're acting mad. Never want for nothing, cause I'm paying the bills. I'm paying the bills. Sleeping all day, the house is filthy. No, no meal. No. Come on, girl, give me some feedback. Give me feedback. Let me know what's good, what's up. Where's your head at? What's up Giving me you? attitude, not today, girl. Dead that. Strip off some clothes, I'm trying to beat that. Dead that. You're really saying not tonight. Not tonight. My blood is boiling hot, girl. You're getting me tight. Aw, oh, man. To the right, to the right. Don't let that door hit your ass when you leave. You talking like you hot, you not. Shorty, I know dime pieces, trust me, you not. You not. I can get a next chick, next one. like Gucci said in the next 15 minutes. You ain't special, don't be foolish. Running around town like you rich, no, I'm rich. Without me, you wouldn't even have that. I'm Scrooge McDuck swimming in money. Hold my top hat. Park Avenue lifestyle, you love it. You're acting out of order, and now you're going to lose it. You... What's going on? Oh, what's going on? We are back. Shout out to the CIA. One love to the FBI. It's time to get crunk. What's good? You know how we do it? In the chat room, what do I need to see? I need to see your age, your city, your gender. Let's get it. Come on. Hit that like button. You don't want the show to slow down, hit the like button. And go ahead and hit that super chat button. It's payday. Time to get paid. Come on. Your godfather want to get paid too. Light bill is hot in the mouth. It's not a problem. No. Cause I know what I'm getting into. Yes. Yeah. And nothing can stop me. No. Cause I'm addicted to Shout out to all the PhDs. Realize. Bye, dog, baby. <laughs> Where the pretty girls at? Big Shirley gonna be mad tonight. Big Shirley. She needs to go home early. Big Shirley mad. She like, oh, I can't stand him. They start telling you, you need to leave us alone. You, I've been friends with you since I was in the fourth grade. And they don't know. We used to double dash the gun. <gasps> Not just because. I'd have gained a little weight. <clears throat> he trying to tell you. You need to leave me behind. 
I can't stand these old misogynists. I can't stand all these misogynists. Oh, girl, but I need you to massage my ankles. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, 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 Big Shirley, I ain't coming for your girlfriend. I'm just coming for some sanity. This is how we're going to do it. What we're going to do is, before we get into it, pardon my manners. Pardon my manners. Pardon my manners. Where was I at? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's see if we can get that going that way. Turn on the lights. Uh, hey, candle of the evening. Well, Tom Ford came out with a new candle today. I haven't burned it yet, but I was, I'm going to burn it later on. I just hate this packaging. Rose Prick is a good fragrance, but the packaging is sus like a mug. Damn. More on that later. It smells good, but you not something you can keep on your uh, on your uh, counter. Got to keep that like in the in the cabinet or something or in the box in the drawer. So we're gonna go with the candle of the evening, Santal Twenty Six. Nice Santal cedarwood, slight dill pickle smell, and it's a cult favorite. Cult favorite. Uh, and the fragrance of the day is another from Christian Louboutin's new release. Uh, Luba Rouge. This shit right here is dope. Cardamom, iris, and vanilla. Uh, if you've ever smelled Creed Bois de Argent, I mean, not Creed, Dior Bois de Argent. Uh, if you've ever smelled, um, Dior Ohm, there's something about chicken and waffle, something about chicken and that fragrance. Iris is a predominant note, but in vanilla, and black folk, we love vanilla. I'll tell you, this is gonna be a hit by. by with a lot of folks. So that's that. Ruby Rouge. Leave that right here. Let's go into the Maxwell Smart Glasses and let's see what we want to do. We're looking gray today. That's where the gray glasses. Gray glasses, gray look. Get that screen back there. So, hi. How you doing? How you mammy doing? What a week it has been. Last night, I went and did a podcast that, whoa, the world exploded yesterday. But we're going to keep on moving because I've been talking about something all week, and I think we need to keep it up. This is the last week I'm going to be in, in Atlanta. Next week, I'm going to be in Beverly Hills, L.A., out there uh, doing the No Jumper podcast. And then got a lot of interviews lined up with some content creators, beautiful influencers and model types, just regular people, because here's the thing. I've noticed that y'all need to get the likes up. That's what I noticed, y'all need to get the likes up. Look at this, we are behind on the likes. We are behind by 500 likes. I am tired of having to keep telling, asking you guys to hit the like button. I know you're excited, it's Friday, end of the week you're like i can end it off strong with the godfather i just got paid friday night but please just like you'd have to do in the club pay the cover charge hit the like button it's part of your cover charge because you know you do not like when that intermission song comes in and i play it real loud you know you don't like it and i, I mean some people do like it but most people don't like it so please don't make me play it don't make me play it. Hit it, get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. If you guys saw my broadcast on the other night talking about pretty professional women, are they destined to be unmarried? And I also did a broadcast on Twitter, not on Twitter, but on Instagram. Hey, uh, on Instagram, we're talking about pretty professional paralysis. Okay. But on Wednesday's show, I said I'm going to discuss a topic that needs to be out there. And this is going to be a multi-layered discussion. There's a singer by the name of Danny Lee who has a song out called Yellow Bone who's getting run through the cancel culture because she's singing, praising her, being proud of her herself. Uh, and what it, what it reminded me of is how often women have to come, have to, have to change who they are to make other women like them. 
In particular, I want to talk about women today who are eights, nines, and tens. Pretty women. Pretty women, you need to cut your friends loose. And I put friends like this because these women really aren't your friends. I'm talking about your average and below average looking friends. Are we getting into it today? Your average and your below average looking friends, you need to cut them loose because single women help keep women single. Shout out to single Dina. I said it last night. I've been saying it for the longest. Single women keep women, single women keep single women single. But there tends to always be one hot one in the group, couple like this, and the rest. And they are always trying to use the pretty one to get into VIP. Let's see. What are we going to call her? What are we going to call her today? We're going to call her what? What are we going to call the pretty girl? The pretty girl that they're always trying to use. We're going to call her. Let's call her Tiffany. Let's call her Tiffany. Tiffany. Tiffany's the girl that was a homecoming queen. You know, she was the it girl in high school. The guys liked her. The girls wanted to be her. She had a she had the natural shape. She looked like she worked out 10 days a week when she was 16. I mean, she had a natural six pack. You know, had natural she just didn't have a lot of pimples and blemishes and breakouts. She just never had those problems, right? Tiffany is always been that chick you know she grew up she had uh in, in certain communities this is the woman that had the good her and more than just that i don't like these glasses more than just that she also had a great attitude she was feminine friendly everyone liked her the guys liked her. The girls liked her. Even the guys that she put in the friend zone still liked her. Next week, we're going to talk about friend zone fuckboys. I'm going to hurt some feelings next week because some of you do are letting women put you in the friend zone, thinking you're going to get your way out. When I'm sitting there looking at you and looking at her, it ain't going to work, partner. Your pockets ain't deep enough in her and she ain't desperate enough yet. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell, but I'm going to go with a clean conscience because let's get into it. Tiffany, who am I thinking of? Shout out Lenny's mom, Tiffany. She's attractive. I mean, she's pretty. And then she has the nerve, the absolute audacity to still, even though she got a natural good shape, she got the audacity to work out like five days a week. Sometimes she's even doing two a days. This biznatch has the audacity to drink water and eat vegetables. I'm, I'm, she is just like a villain. I mean, she actually had the nerve to not get drunk, smoke cigarettes. She got the nerve to not be hoeing around. She actually went to school, made good grades, kept her nose clean. This is a mother sucking villain. She is like a master <clears throat> women hate her because they want to be her and she's just doing what she does because she's just a decent person she's a decent person and that's the problem in years gone by the world would have told tiffany hey you 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 and roger should get together uh, her and roger would have met in high school become high school sweethearts they would have gotten married left on out of the out of the, out of the mating and dating pool early on but no, there's Tiffany's out here all around. They're eights, nines, and tens. And the problem is they're nice people. So men who can't get them want to keep them protected from all the big, bad, select, alpha, high-value dogs. <laughs> uh, and the women who know they can't compete with her, they're hanging around like hyenas hyenas they hanging around like hyenas trying to get the scraps and she's stuck because she wants to help her friend that, that she double dutch with in, four, in, in third and fourth grade and you're trying to get her to leave me behind but we've been friends since third grade are you just a hater 
trying to take my best friend. And she feels bad because if she leaves her best friend, she know Derek. I mean, I don't want to say that name. I almost said a name. She knows Darla. She knows Denise. She know Big Denise can't get no man. Big Denise can't get no man. And, and, uh, Big Shirley can't get no man. And then Mean Denise can't get no man. She know it. And she's like, well, I've known Denise and I've known Shirley. And, and here's what they always say. Here's what they always say. Here's what the pretty girls who feel guilty for having their friends they don't want to cut loose. They're ugly friends. I'm just say you're ugly friends. They ain't cute. They're ugly. Here's what they always say. Come on. Come on. A little closer. Pay attention. She's sweet. She's got a good soul. Aw, she's not that. She's not that ugly. She's not that unattractive, really. And then when you tell her, no, nah, man, your friend is a no. Your friend is not your friend. She advocates harder for her friends than she does for herself. And these women float in that pretty professional paralysis because they're stuck. <laughs> they're stuck. They're stuck because on the one hand, they have an embarrassment of options, even in the danger zone. Danger zone! And this is the level where they need to cut their friends. You can be friends with Darla, I mean, uh, you can be friends with Shirley and Denise in junior high, high school, even throughout college. But after college, you need to cut them loose. Because if not, they're going to, these women are the women. In, come on, guys, am I not lying? These women are the ones, these average at best women and below average women used to get them in the clubs, get them to VIP, whatever. They ride on their pretty girlfriend's coattails. And, they, and these women start to feel guilty about, their ability to go on. She turns around and says, hey, Denise, how you doing? Hey, Shirley, how you doing? Oh, girl, it's hard out here. I can't find no man. I'm looking for somebody there. I ain't got no Valentine. I don't have nobody to spare Valentine's Day. I don't have anybody to buy me any Christmas gift. And she's sitting over there with, she got three phones. This phone over here is just for the spam. She got phone right here for the guy she's considering and phone over here for the guys in rotation. This woman got 511 requests for Valentine's Day. All from guys in her friend zone who know they will never see no parts of the coochie. Never. But they still want to be your Valentine and take you out to maestros and get you, you know, lobster stuff with steak. <laughs> and these girls can't even get nobody to take them over to Waffle House. So she feels bad because it's like, well... Well, and then, it, and then what's the problem is they come to you, Mr. Productive, Competitive, Successful Man, you, Mr. High Value Man, you, Mr. Hit Squad, and they try to tell you that they're nice people. You should give them a shot. And you step on her to try to holler at her. And for some reason, let's just say it doesn't really click. She hasn't realized that she needs to start going for herself. And she's looking at you and you are a perfect fit for her. But she's trying to get all her busted and disgusted friends hooked up instead of going ahead and pulling the lever, push the button, and getting the hell on out herself. And I'm going to talk to y'all right now. You pretty women need to start cutting loose your average friends. I'm going to be nice. Cut loose your average friends because they're keeping you single. It is not your fault. It is not your responsibility that God made them average. It is their choice if they want to remain average in their body. You can't really change your face that much, but you, you can choose to work out. But you can't help nobody who's average here and below average here. And just because y'all happen to know one another, happen to like each other, have some similar hobbies, you are prettier than her. You got better options than her. And, make, and leaving yourself off the market is a sin. It's a sin against us men. <laughs> there are men out here right now who are like, God damn it. Why are you attracted women hanging out with these slee stacks? When you should really get out, out of here and go on down the path, make a deal with a guy that's suitable and go on about your business. Because what ends up happening is there's an ever-growing pool of single women, ever-growing pool of available men, and ain't nobody getting together. But here's the dupe. 
passive aggressively, they have made their pretty friend feel guilty for their pretty. Oh, shit. They have made their pretty friend feel guilty for their pretty. Mm-hmm. Busted and disgusted. You right, E. That's right. I'm talking to you. And women like you. Shout out to my 29-year-old down in Houston. I'm probably talking to you, too. I've seen you ladies all my life, and you're good-hearted people. But your heart needs to be with a goddamn man and going down a life with your path and your family. Stop trying to advocate for women that can't be fixed. Uh, I'm looking over. Stop trying to advocate for women who can't be fixed. What do you mean they can't be fixed? Well, there used to be a time where women who were below average in looks tried to overperform in attitude and niceness. You know, there was a time when women used to actually try to be nice and say, you know what? I'm an average looking woman. But she actually kept herself in the gym, kept her body up. Were nice, cooperative, could cook, good people. And they found boyfriends and husbands. But now these same women have worse attitudes than the pretty girls. We call them 49ers, fours that act, walk and think and talk like they're nines. And then they've done the Jedi mind trick on their friends who are nines and got them getting four outcomes. Hello, not your fault. Let me be the first one to tell you the Titanic has hit the iceberg. The ship is sinking and you can survive. They can't. So here is your life preserver. Here is your life raft. Rose, you heard what I said about the, you heard what I said about the compartments. Get to a lifeboat, Rose. If you remember the movie Titanic, when the guy who built the ship told Rose, hey, remember when I told you when we was at dinner? Carry your ass on up there because you're in first class. You a first class woman. Why are you fucking around with women in steerage? Oh, ah, going to hell. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. Your friends look like they came out of steerage and they're built like a steering wheel and you sitting around trying to act like you're them. No, you're not. And men are tired of it. We're tired of seeing you over there looking all good over here with them acting all bad. See, it would be different if they actually had better attitudes. It would be different if these women actually were trying to be better women for the kind of men they say they want. But they have a worse attitude than the girls that look better. They've just pulled the voodoo reverse ma- reverse Jedi trick on their friends to make them say, well, I I, I can't leave my girlfriend. Yeah, I, I, if I go out with you this weekend, then she won't have anybody. And, the, and, and let's talk about it. Don't their friends always have the most jacked up lives? All these manufactured controversies. Always trying to take up all their available time. Why? Because if they can keep their friend occupied so she can't date. (laughs) Chat room is going crazy. I know they're going crazy. Soon as she say, I met somebody new, all of a sudden they start, I got COVID in the elbow. Oh, I got stage, I got stage four pinky cancer. Oh, my dog just ate a cat and now he's going to have, my bird is pregnant. All of a sudden their life just goes into haywire. And she's just torn in between. Well, I need to help him talk to my friends. And then her 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 busted cousins, her jacked up sisters, her, her ooh, mm, mm, sweet Jesus, cover me, God, and ooh, cover me, Father. Her alone ass mama. Woo! <laughs> mm, her single ass alone mama. Mm. The original sin, the single alone ass mama who couldn't get a man except her daddy. Oh, oh, Jesus. Yes, we know you. So there she's stuck in the middle, feeling bad for her mama. What am I going to do about my mama? What if I I date you and go on with you and marry you? Go on with my my mama. My mama ain't going to have nobody. You know what your mama can do?
That's what your mama could do. Your mama had her life. She had her choices. It's your time. And ultimately, it sounds cold. It sounds cruel. But let me be the first and last one to tell you. Everybody is having a life except for you. Your mama didn't have a life. Your busted friends didn't have a life. You are putting your life on hold trying to fix everybody else. Because they've made you feel guilty because you look better than them. That's a gift from God. Don't waste the pretty. It's a sin. It's a sin to waste the pretty. Gentlemen, somebody back me up. Is it not a, it is not a sin to waste the pretty? Where's the pastor? We got a pastor. We got to preach to somebody. It is a sin to waste the pretty. It is a sin against mankind. Because you are the kind of woman that men want. And men would rather have him have you and y'all gone off and making pretty babies and everything else. And men can say, well, if I can keep my game up, get my value and productive, I can get me one like that too. Men like to see men win. Women don't like to see women win. It's a sin to waste the pretty. Stop wasting the pretty. They want you to, they want you to get, they, they want you to give the guys the pretty when it's over here. But by that, by that time, the pretty's 36 years old into no man's land. See, what they don't like is they don't like when you're out here, they realize that if you win, that means winning is possible. And they don't like the competition. See, they should be able to outperform you, not on looks, but on attitude, cooperativeness, submissiveness, all the things that men rate really high after initial attraction. Because every man does, every man does not expect not not does not expect to get an eight nine or ten they just expect the fours fives and sixes to act like they know their fours fives and sixes and give a damn and try hard but as long as the fours fives and sixes got your pretty ass sitting around them drinking wine on fridays by yourself they think all men are the problem because if she can't get one i ain't that bad but if all y'all's pretty ass left and got with the men that you need to get with their average asses would have to do better i said it and i meant it but hey, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I must know what I'm talking about because I've been talking straight without a break with no notes, no script, because I have seen this my entire French toast life. Above average women hanging out with below average women. Cut your friends loose. And at least do, if you cut them at loose and at least get around with some women on your level. Hang with some women that are going to at least be on your level. Because when somebody steps to you, it's not the nice, it's not the pretty girl that's the problem. It's her average friends who are the biznatches. Wednesday, remember I had the phone call from the MC Search in Toronto? Two of those women in there were just nice as could be. Both of those women had, one had a relationship and one had options. MC Search with the fat face and all in that, you <laughs> cut her loose. She weighed too much for the boat. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, Kevin, you're being so hyperbolic and that's so mean and that's so cruel. That's just harsh. But you know what? Men do it. Men do it. Men will not allow a weak man to be in a group. The weak link gets broken. Why? Because if he's weak, he needs to become better or else we all lose. Men understand that the weak link makes us all vulnerable. And the weak link understands it as well. That's why you used to have movies like Rudy and all these other things where the weak link tries to become better so he can at least stand tall with the other men. So even if he can't compete, he can at least compete with fucking heart. He can't, he has no height. He has no strength. He has no, but he has heart. Well, the opposite of a woman's heart, that's cooperation, submission, friendliness. You average women don't have any heart today, but you got that mind and the attitude in the mouth of a nine. Hence 49ers. And got the gas face. <laughs> got the gas face. And the problem is really, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if it was just a bunch of average women having a bunch of average meetings by themselves. Guys honestly wouldn't care. What the problem is is because they keep infecting all the all the, all the good-looking women, dragging them down over there with them. 
I, I, thank you guys saying this is so true. I know. No notes. Look, ma, no hands. But I could be wrong. Tell me I'm lying. All you women out there are eights, nines, and tens, show me the eight, nine, or ten in your group. <laughs> You're it. You're hanging out with a bunch of sixes at best. Most are hanging out with fives. Fives and fours, not adjustable sixes, fives. And rude. Last part. To the, to the friends who need to be cut, understand something. It's for your own good. Because women care about the good opinion of other women. And women have taken away competition. Women have taken away accountability. And women have taken away negative opinions about other women. Women have stopped calling women hoes, sluts. Women have stopped. Now it's all legal. I mean, all free. No, no judgment. Now women have started. It's like, okay, you want to have 18 kids out of wedlock? Like, okay, only God can judge them. You want to be 600 pounds? Okay. Somebody will do it. And it's you ladies that make this happen. If you ladies that the ones that they look up to actually started shunning this behavior and saying, maybe you don't look like me, but your attitude needs, needs to be better. You should be happy and friendly to be around. You should have as many. I've got 5,000 guys in the friend zone. How come you don't have one guy friend? Because <laughs> you're not fucking friendly. So this is only like uh yo like uh Smokey the Bear, only you can prevent forest fires, only you can fix base only you can fix basic bitches. Take out the word bitch. And why do I say bitch? Because many of these women act like bees. It's not because a woman is a bee, it's because they act that way. And it is an affront to men when they see a woman who is basic or below average with the attitude of a bona fide dime. It's just no, it's no different than a man who is short and broke walking around like he's the man. But maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. We go up on the call line. I want to hear from uh, you uh, women who think I'm wrong. Especially you average looking women, below average women with all the pretty friends who are holding them up. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't talk about, we, we shall see though. But, uh, and I also want to hear from uh, if any of you pretty women who want to cut your friends loose. You need a plan. You need an exit strategy. Because if you don't, they're going to drain the life out of your potential. If you don't, they're going to drain the life out of your potential. And when that happens, you have no one to blame but yourself. Because you had the opportunity to do different and you chose to sit back and waste your life on their opportunity. Uh, you decided to waste your opportunities on them when you should have cashed in your opportunities and lived your life for you. Let's get to it. Oh, I know this is going to be ugly, but so are your friends, especially their attitude. That's the wrong song. That's the wrong song. So your friend's attitude's ugly. The situation's ugly. Um, I'm sorry. We're going to need a different song for today. We're going to need a different song for today. Yes, we got new kiss. The Ring. We got new uh, Money World Girl stuff coming. Today, we're going to need today. We're going to need this one. What you going to do when I like catch an attitude? Drop to the knees and show gratitude. Kiss my ring, chick. This song right here is for all the fellas out there. Taking care of business and making that money. To provide for their ladies, provide for their family. Shout out to my PhD. I'm a PhD. If you got a good man and you want for nothing, and you want to keep that man, you need to learn how to check that attitude. You need to show some appreciation. You need to show some respect. It burns. Oh, it burns. 
bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. I can't stand his ass. He always over there talking all that stuff like he knows something. Wisdom and security, I give that. Devotion and honesty, I show that. Passion and love, you feel that. Bow down, girl, you need to show some respect. Obedience and loyalty, I need that. Friendship and trust, I feel that. Oh, we're talking like he got the answer to life. Bow down, pay homage to the king in your life. Baby girl, what's the deal? What's the deal? Got no time for freaking girl, you're acting mad. You're acting mad. Never want for nothing, cause I'm paying the bills. I'm paying the bills. Sleeping all day, the house is filthy. No meal. Come on, girl, give me some feedback. Give me feedback. Let me know what's good, what's up. Where's your head at? What's Giving me attitude, not today, girl. Dead that. Strip off some clothes, I'm trying to beat that. Dead Bet that. that. You're really saying not tonight. Not tonight. My blood is boiling hot, girl. You're getting hey, E. Oh, to, the to, right, the right, to the right, to the right. Don't let that door hit your ass when you leave. You talking like you hot, you not. You out. Shorty, I know dime pieces. Shout out to the West Coast. I can get Shout out to the plug. Next one. Like Gucci said in the next 15. Uh, you special, don't be foolish. Running around town like you rich. No, I'm rich. I'm a star. I'm schooled with that swimming in money. Hold my time. They mad. Park every new lifestyle. You love it. You're acting like you're gonna be mad. You're gonna lose it. You claim that you're in love with me. In love with me. You want to be my wifey. Be my wifey. That's looking pretty bleak. Unlikely. You should have paid how much, girl? You fucked up. Can't do it. No more. I'm done. I'm fed up. Game over. Yeah, they be sneak this and they pretty friends all the time. Yeah, you only got there because you, cause you, cause you, cause you light skin. She only got there because she got pretty hair. They be dissing y'all left and right, boy. Bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Pay how much to the king in your life. Wisdom and security, I give that. Devotion and honesty, I show that. Passion and love, you feel that. She wouldn't look like that if she didn't have that position done. Obedience and loyalty, I need that. Friendship and trust. Every one of your secrets, they done told it all. All your secrets, they done told it. Pay how much to the king in your life. Come on, girl. I heard she was an undercover hoe on the weekend. She was a, she was a sex stunt double in porns when high school. But you didn't hear that from me. I heard she used to do. I, I heard she was a fluffer. You didn't hear that from me though. I didn't know you done. I didn't know you dated fluffers. Uh huh. Oh, you didn't know she was a fluffer? Mm hmm. Is she a fluffer? Oh, you know she was a fluffer? I mean, yeah, I know. That ain't her real ear color. That ain't her real, that ain't her real ear color. Her ears really aren't that color. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Her ears really aren't that color. Yeah, back in college, man, one time she, one time she actually fell. Mm-hmm. But you didn't hear that from me. Yeah, ask her how she paid for uh, her uh, second semester, uh, her dorm room. But you didn't hear that from me. Yeah, they, y'all, yeah, y'all's little friendship confidence. Ooh, they be cutting y'all deep, cutting them deep. Oh Lord. All right, let's see what Kimberly Thomas has for us. Now here's the thing: when we get on here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you have YouTube off in the background. You're going to make sure you have your audio connected only on Zoom. This is being recorded, obviously. So if you got a problem with being on the Internet, leave. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Okay, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello? Uh, yes, what you got for me? I consider myself like average, like a four. So uh -huh. honestly, how would you even know if you're the pretty one in your group if you think all of y'all kind of look nice? What do you mean? How would you know if you're the pretty one in your group if all of you guys look nice? Yeah. <laughs> but you just said... And that's, you, that's so you, serious. You, rank your, you said you rank yourself where? I consider myself to be a four. Okay, and is that average, above average, or below average? Um, average. Okay. Okay, if if four is, I mean, obviously you can judge for yourself. If average is if 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 four is average, 
And what's above average? Um, like six and sevens. On a scale of one I'm, to I'm, ten. I live, I live in Tallahassee, Florida, so I don't. Florida is weird. <laughs> I well, know Tallahassee's, uh, Tallahassee's is still in the United States, so there's no way a four is average, ma'am. A four, five would be right in the middle, right? Okay. Half of 10 is five, right? Yes, sir. So how can four, which is less than five, be average? I don't really, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I am. Like, I listen to your show a lot, and I feel like I fall in line with that. I'm you, not sure. You fall in line with what? I feel like I follow that more with the four or five. Okay. Um, because clearly I'm not on like nothing like Beyonce and well, Rihanna okay. and all that. But, but but your question was, how do you know who's the pretty one in your group when you feel like you all look good? Or something like that, right? I feel like we're all average. Yeah. Okay, well, why would there be a pretty one if you're all average? Hmm. Well, I mean, it's like, do you know how you were saying, like how, you know, with your pretty fan, they're the ones who get you in the VIP. They're the ones who yeah. get you all the free drinks and, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry. I thought you was going to speak. I'm listening. I'm talking was, to you. Okay. Yeah. So um, because of that, I was like, well, that's me. But how do, you know, oh, you it's get, just, you like get I said, right it's VIP. So you get it's not like it's. You get people in the VIP and free drinks? Yes. Okay. Um, Tallahassee. That where, what school is in Tallahassee? Florida University of Florida. Um, I wish it, go Gators. No, Florida it's State. Um, Florida State, and it's uh, FAMU. All right. So are you from Tallahassee? Uh, no, I'm from Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> All right. How old are you? I'm 37. Uh, how tall are you? I'm five four. Dress size? I'm a sixteen. <laughs> All right. So, um, generally, the women I'm talking about, they can get in the VIP in Los Angeles, in mm -hmm. Miami, in New York City. Uh, mm -hmm. You're saying you get into VIP in Tallahassee? Could you get into VIP? In those cities, do you think? I don't know. I never left the South. <laughs> well, what do you think? Um, I think so, because, you know, like I said, I'm not unattractive. You know, I usually get hollered at all the time. But um, I just, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> all right. Um, Ma'am, um, do you think, do you think New York City, Miami, or L.A. are more expensive than Tallahassee? Um, definitely, uh, the LA and, um, uh, New York. I really can't speak for Miami. Miami I have some friends more from down too. there. Okay. But uh, so people likely also make more money there too. There's more money going through those places. Yes. So that means there are going to be more powerful men there. And yes, more sir. Beautiful women. So yes, sir. if you are thinking that in Tallahassee, you would have the same amount of pool in in LA or New York City, I'll tell you no. Okay. Because there's far more competition. Um and there has to be more competition. I mean, I don't I don't know what kind of clubs you're talking about in Tallahassee either. Uh but typically the women we're talking about are women who are eights, nines, and tens, not fours and fives. Yes, sir. So is it that you, you're saying you're a four for the broadcast or you really think you're a four in life? I'm saying, honestly, based on what I've heard from you, I well, just you feel think, like maybe that's where I am. you rank yourself, though? I mean, if, if I had to pick myself, I would say that I'm a six, but I've seen girls call in that I thought was, you know, decent. And okay, some of them you my, said before my broadcast, though, before my broadcast, what would you have thought? Before I ever met you, uh, <laughs> I thought I was a seven, but you said that's not a thing, so that's why I have to say six. So if you weren't a seven, that would have made you what an eight? Before you, no, before you heard my broadcast. Made me. Yeah, I'm definitely. I would definitely call myself a six before I met you. A six? 
Or seven. Yes, sir. Actually, you just said a seven, but because I said there's no, no a, a six, thing, so. yes. You see, that's the reason I don't. Well, yeah, you I said seven, there's no such thing as a seven. That's why I don't yeah. allow sevens because it allows women to overrank themselves. Sevens allow women to mm-hmm. overrank themselves and and not live in reality, and and push themselves higher than they are. Do you have any children? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, so at thirty-seven years old, uh, five foot what four? How five four, yes. Five four. And how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? Um, geez, last time I weighed myself? Mm-hmm. Um, like, I'm, I'm sorry, it's been a minute. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I think the last time I weighed myself, I was like 180. I was, no. I was going to know, I'm a national six, guard, so I know we have to keep 16. it. Not a dress size 16. You haven't been yes, 180. Not a, not a dress size 16, the five foot four. Well, I wear 16s and 12s, so it's it's like no, 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 a split no, digit. Listen. Okay, I need you to listen, okay. Um, yes, sir. Women, t- women typically don't weigh themselves because they're not really happy with what they see on the scale. Now, 12 or 16, um, looking at you, you 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 are you look like you're in excess of 200 pounds. Say it again? You look like you are you look like you are in excess of 200 pounds. And a, dress, <laughs> no, and a dress size 16 at five foot four. Um, yes, sir. Would put you uh, an approximation. And this is important because it's one thing to to think um, you're, you're one thing or another, but it's also, it's something to, for what the world looks at. When's the last time you yes, actually sir. actively worked out? Um, Today, actually. <laughs> um. We all started I mean, like this New Year's resolution this? When was the last time you were a healthy weight? Say it again, sir. When was the last time you were a healthy weight? Like uh, 125 pounds. I'm not sure, sir. All right. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Uh, in short, how would you know if, if you're the, a good looking one of the group? Uh, I think it's yes. reasonable to say that you may be better looking than your friends, but I think you also know that there are women who are much more fit and much more attractive than you. Yes, sir. Those are the women I'm kind of referring to in this broadcast. All right. Okay. Have a good night, ma'am. You too. Thank you. Uh, bye-bye. Let me go here. Well, go ahead and drop out, ma'am. Boom, 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 boom. That was interesting. Um, you see why I don't allow? You see why I don't allow sevens? Because when you allow sevens, it just allows for more and more and more and more, um, more delusion. Why are you here, Fabio? Why are you here? Uh, Your name is Fabio. Why are you here? You're not a woman. This guy's not paying attention. Leave, man. You're not a woman. Okay, dokie. Let me help you out. So here we go. If you disagree with my time, if you disagree with me, raise your hand. If you think I'm off base on what I'm talking about, here's what you do. Raise your hand. But you're going to also have to um here's what we do where's this dude no dude this says women only you got to go (laughs) all right denise denise betty and then amanda all right here's what we're going to do Unmute yourself, Denise. 
Hello. You good? What's your disagreement? What on on the t is the disagreement on the topic? Because he says the same thing about my friends, and since we got together, yes, I've had like this kind of issues with them. Uh -huh. And now that I'm engaged and we're starting to, you know, plan towards marrying and stuff, I've had this problem also with my mother and my single sister. But my disagreement is, why do we have to dish them when they're also like an important part of our lives? Uh, are you a Christian? Yes. You tell me what God says about it. I know we're supposed no, no, to. No, 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 no. I asked you to tell me. I didn't say you asked me if you know. Tell me. We're supposed to just form our own families and, you know, leave no, our He gave very specific parents. instructions. Come again? He gave very specific instructions. It's called leave and cleave, right? Yes. Right. So you think God doesn't know what he's doing? Yeah, he does. He so, does. so, so, and you're supposed as a Christian, you're supposed to submit to the God inside of your husband and you're already, and you're already being defiant as a fiance. I understand. I understand. And you're being defiant for women who are uncovered. They're so, not married, right? Your, your friends aren't married, correct? One of them is the other one is living with her baby daddy. So she's but, unmarried. Yes. <laughs> is your mother married? The other one is married. Is your mother married? No, my mother is divorced. Uh, okay. So how about this? Either you do what your fiance says or you run the risk of losing your fiance. And this is what I'm trying to say. People understand this woman has a fiance. And she cares more about what would potentially happen to these women who have their own lives than her own life. I'm not making this shit up. And she's a Christian. She's willing to go up opposite of God for women who are living ungodly. I understand that, but and at you the don't, same time don't say, but just say yes. You don't understand because you, I hear the tone in your voice. I understand, but tell it to God. Okay. I just. Rebellious spirit. Gentlemen, what have I talked about? Christian feminists, watch for the rebellious spirit. Go ahead. I just feel like, I mean, so we're not supposed to have friends other than like our partners because that's my conflict. No, my disagreement no, is no, not. You're not supposed to have friends other than your partner. You're just supposed to have married people. You're supposed to be around married folks. Okay. If I your understand. Husband, okay. Let me ask you a problem. If your husband or your fiance has a problem with it, why is that not enough for you to do something about it? Why is that not enough? I've been listening like to what he's saying and acting more on it. I just feel sometimes like why I'm okay them behind. Listen, I don't care. I'm asking you, the man you've chosen to marry, why is what he asked you to do not enough? Because if I flipped the script and I said you wanted him to do something, you would say, I'm your fiance. I should matter more than them. True or false? It's true. Well, then, God damn it, you do the same thing, rebellious. <laughs> okay. Or lose your okay. man. And honestly, if you no. lose your man, good for you. I don't want to lose my man. Well, I don't. Like, I, I mean, love no, him a lot. You, I get it, but, but it really sounds to me like, ma'am, you want to have your cake and eat it too. You want to be able to do what you want to do, but then you want him to do what you want him to do. And I'm not okay with Christian women moving like that. Because being a Christian is choice. And you're, yeah. and you're lining up in opposition of the God you say you believe in. And then you have the nerve to ask for his protection and blessing. I understand. I think, I think you're right. And I was. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Have a good Thank night. Thank you. Have a good night. I mean, being a Christian is is we don't we don't get to pick and choose the parts of the Bible, folks. And think about what we said in the in the Garden of Eden. This is why we are fallen in the first place. Adam was doing just fine in the garden until Eve came in with her own ideas. I think I'll listen to this snake. He looks good. All right, Betty. Betty, unmute yourself. Hi, how are you? What do you got for me? So um, I disagree with dropping friends. I think sisterhood and having friendship is really important. Are you married? No. Are you engaged? No. Mm. How old are you? I'm 25. Right. Then why I, is this why is this an issue? Because you don't have a man yet. So my friends are um one of the reasons why? Yeah. Likely. Because if you did you hear did you hear the conversation I just had with a woman who's engaged? Yes. Who's also said she's a Christian? She was putting her relationship in jeopardy for women who had already lived their lives. Are you a Christian? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, then your choices are pretty much set. Why is it why is why is cleaving to women so important to you instead of get, uh, being with your man and going on with your life with him? Well, I'm single, but um I think sisterhood is important and mm -hmm. I've had friends Where's sisterhood and, in the Bible. I don't know. It's not no word that I can it's think not. of. It's not. It's not. It's not. Christian feminist guys. You can't even make it make sense. It's just, this is what I want to do. I think arguably you can have great female friends and have sisterhood and be in a relationship. Right. Well, when was the last time you've been in a relationship? About a year ago. How long was it? About a year. Uh-huh. And did your friends, did he like your friends? He did get into it or have exactly issues with my friends yeah exactly single women keep women single and i guarantee you the women he got into it with were not cute so here's what you do have your sisterhood i'm a phd get your phd <laughs> buy a dog and die alone because men are not going to accept problematic women with their women. I just talked to a woman who was a fiance. And in your own life, you said your man had problems with your busted friends and you still care more about them. than move in the house with them, buy dogs, live like spinsters. I wouldn't say I care more about my- You, you, care, you care enough about it to get up on this channel to advocate for opposite position. When, yes. when even your even when even your religion, the God you say you support does not. That's a rebelliousness. And that's part of the problem with women today. You are your own God. At 25. Amazing. To the people who thought I was being hyperbolic, to the people who thought I was being over the top, you've heard two women back to back, one in one with a fiance who was in the background and she was still squirming to fight for her friend who was a baby mama and another who, wasn't, who was married and her mother who was a divorcee. And this woman is a fiance supposed to be looking forward to her life. Her 
fiance is smart to say, I want you away from all those chaotic women because they failed. Except maybe the wife. Well, then the wife is, I don't know. Mm, mm. But these two failed. I want us to start anew. But again, they keep drawing the pretty friends back over to their chaos and wonder why this stuff. And then as Christians, that really is no, really, really, there's nothing to stay. But this is deep for women. They really believe, I gotta, I gotta believe in the sisterhood, the sisterhood, the sisterhood of failure. Show me your women in, show me your successful married friends. That's who you become friends with. Women who are married and successful with it. Uh, Ruth. Oh, you, you jumped to the head of the line. Uh, I don't think you jumped to the head of the line. Uh, Amanda, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello. Yeah, either you're a man or you have a very deep voice as a woman. Either way, I'm not talking to you. Fucking weirdos, man. Uh, Ruth, go ahead and unmute. Unmute yourself. Hello, how are you? Good, how old are you? All right, what's your disagreement? Okay, my disagreement is about um like throw away your friends. Are you married? Instead of like Are you married? I'm not married. Okay. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. You're not married. Go ahead. Okay. Throw throwing away your friends that you know for so long. And I think it's really good to like kind of drag them with you. Like, Are you at, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you're a single woman. Yes. Have you ever been married? I never been married before. And you're trying to tell the men that you as a woman think it's better for you as a newly married woman to drag your single friends along with you into your married life. Why? Into my marriage life? Yes. Um, to help them because there's some people, they don't have their Hold family. Hold on. Did you hear what you just said? Huh? My newly married life. And she is more worried about dragging her unmarried friends on than her husband. Pay attention to what she's not saying. This is you. You a newly married woman, and you're more focused on your failed friends because of their sad story. You don't deserve a husband, then. So is there? Is it okay to help no, them? I no, mean, no, it's okay. No, it's okay for you to go and serve and be with your husband. Okay. Are you a Christian? Yes. Yeah. What are you supposed to do when you get married? Of your husband? Leave and cleave. Leave your family, cleave to your husband. You guys thought I was kidding when I said this. And listen, that's the third woman who's said it. I think it's my responsibility to drag my failure friends into my new marriage in order to help them. So every minute you're spending with your failure friends, you're taking it from who? Your husband. I'm like not bringing them to my house or something. I don't like, care. I said, no, home. no. See, no. Every minute you spend with them is a minute not spent where? I don't know. Speak, say it. I didn't hear you. Hello. No, no, no. Don't, don't nod your head. You need to say it. Women need to say these things. Speak okay. it. No, no, speak it. Confess. Every minute you're not with him, 
Every minute you're not, every minute you're spending with them, you're not spending it where? With whom? With your husband. Right. Every minute you're not spending, every minute you're spending with them, you're not spending it with your children. Yeah. It's important for you ladies to say this stuff so you remember you said it. Do you expect your husband to pay all or the majority of the bills in the house? No. Oh, you do you expect to, what percentage of the bills do you expect or want to pay for the family and the household? My husband? If yeah. my husband want to pay, yeah. No, 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 no. No. You if you're married, mm -hmm. what percentage of the family bills do you want to have to pay? That's 100% of the family bills. What percentage do you want to have to be responsible to for a lifetime? Okay. At least I want to be able to uh, be responsible for at least 50%. But if I can be responsible for like 10%, that would be awesome. Uh-uh, no, no, no. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a double-minded answer. Which do you want to be responsible for? 50% or 10? And the 50. truth, the truth, guys, we know the truth. She said 50-50 because it sounds good, but the truth was the last one. 50-50 would be over, oh, but I really only want 10. And we know this as men. And think about the, and I want you to understand, you're 30 what years old? 31. 31, 31, and you ladies should have this more figured out. At 31, you're not a little girl. And you're thinking like this. And you go into the dating environment with these dual mindsets. But when it gets right down to it, when, a, when the bill comes at the restaurant, you're not going in your purse. You expect the man to pay. Course. Well then, of course, if he's paying you, then you are serving. Don't play it with us, y'all. And see this, y'all thought I was kidding. You guys thought I was kidding, and she's smiling, sitting up there like, "Ooh, shit!" I didn't know it was going to be like that because y'all, y'all think that men are just dumb. This walking wallets, and they're just supposed to serve. No, men are tired of bad deals, ladies. Again, think about what this woman said. I'm 31 years old. And I think it's my responsibility to drag my failure friends into my new marriage. That is insane. Insane. And ain't no man worth his salt going to be okay with that. Why would a man want to say, yeah, well, I'm not going to have him over here all the time. What do you around my wife? Unmute yourself and get out of the dark. Why are you in the dark? Okay, what do you got for me? First, let, let's let's do this. Let's Hold on, let's do... Uh, no, you can't. You're going to let me run my damn show is what you're going to do. Don't tell me you let you finish. Who do you think you're talking to? The New York women always think they running shit. You going to let me run my show or I'll bid you a good night. You're muted. No one's hearing you. Fuck you mean? I'm going to unmute you. And we're going to start this the right way. Your first name is? How old are you? Okay, what do you have? You think it's okay for women to do what? Everybody got to know their place. Hmm. Are you married? Like, I'm not married, but I'm just saying like if a person okay, hold like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you, uh, that's fine. I just want some to make sure I know who I'm talking to. Are you engaged? I'm engaged, yes. How long have you been engaged? I've been engaged for a year. And when is the wedding date? Huh? When's the wedding um, date? I'm looking to do it like I don't really have a wedding date right now due to Corona. Yeah, uh huh. And your fiance's first name? 
Say that again. Your fiance's first name. What you mean, Beyonce? My fiance first name is Anthony. Okay, go ahead. You feel like everybody should know their place. Go ahead. But I mean, you can have friends, like you can have single friends, but they gotta know, like, when you're with your, when you with your significant other, like you're with your significant other. I think the problem is when people meddle in other people's business and they don't know their place. Now, understand, I, I'm I'm talking about your husband. He's not a significant other. He's your husband. Well, my husband. What does your I'm, husband say? What does your husband say about that? What, what would what would what would what does your fiance say about that? My fiance, well, my fiance don't really, really butt in with my, my, um, my friends because my friends no, no. know what that is your, when I'm busy, what is your I'm busy fiance, I'm not busy. What is your, what is your, what does your fiance say about your friends? Is he all right with you having single friends around? Yes, he's all right with me having single friends around. But like got, I said, I let everybody know they place early. Uh huh. Um, have you called into my show before? Yes, I have, but yeah, I know you. You're the you're the one with the seven foot boy. Yeah, you're the one with the seven foot boyfriend in the messy room. You're crazy as hell. You don't have no boyfriend. You I'm wife. not crazy. We just have a different opinion. No, 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 ma'am. I, I have your video, and I'm gonna actually pull it up. I remember you. You were the one that looked like old dirty bastard's uh, sister. You don't have oh, no. Wow. You don't have. You don't. That's what we doing. Well, it's the truth, That's what man. We doing? Ma'am, uh, you, you lied. You lied, like ma'am. You said your boyfriend, you lied. You said your fiance was seven feet tall and he wore a size 12 shoe. I know what I'm talking about. I've seen you before. Um, you lied, ma'am. You, you, lie. you, you lied. You so lied. You lied. You lied. Remember that crazy ass woman with that messy ass room? She has a distinctive face. That's her. Lying like a motherfucker. See, women, you got to understand, there are also crazy women out here. And I can say crazy because that woman was little cuckoo. Everybody in the chat room know that when I start asking her about her relationship, y'all start hearing the beatbox. All the stuttering and shit because she was lying. I've studied this stuff. I'm certified in body language and reading people. This woman is a liar. Just sit up here making up shit. This, I'm going to actually pull the video up. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to repost it so you can see what I'm talking about. Room looked like a 14-year-old. I think she lived in the daddy's house or some shit like that. I was helping her daddy. Y'all remember that? Yeah, that's you. That's why you in the dark. Thought I wouldn't know who you was. I'm good at what I do. Don't call my phone anymore, lying. You can call. Don't call here, lying. <laughs> and she mad because I said she like. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Oh, that's what we doing. That's what we doing. Yeah, that's what we doing. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. We calling people out. Um, you. That's who you look like. I'm sorry, but I didn't make it up. 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 I, I swear to God. I swear to God. O'Shea says, I know you're mad, but it's not my fault. Uh, I'm going to use O'Shea's thing. I know you're mad, but it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not connecting. Why is it not connecting? Oh, darn it. Uh, connect. Y'all, 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 y'all. That's Buster Rhymes, though. That's not ODB. I'm coming to the next caller. We got it's Friday night. We got time. Who I got you all in check. I got the head nod to make you break your neck. Who are working in siege? ODB. Old dirty Chinese laundry. Oh, it's not working. I'm not happy. Oh well, we'll get it next time. Do 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 do. Sephora, you're next. Go ahead. Hello. 
How are you? What? What's your disagreement? Mm-hmm. Are are you are you current are you currently married? So that means no. Okay. So so this whole I believe you need this sisterhood. Uh are you a Christian? Okay. Well, but the thing is, this sisterhood stuff, what the sisterhood what this sisterhood stuff you ladies talk about does more to tear marriages apart than it does to keep them together. Are your sister are your the sisters you talking about all married? Exactly. So if you're going to have a sisterhood, have a sisterhood of married women. Yes, because married people and single people problems are different. And when, if and when you get married, you will understand that. It's different. Have you had a girlfriend? I mean, if you had a boyfriend, it's different than dating problems. Wouldn't you agree? So you ladies are always hedging against something going wrong and the and the and you end up injecting chaos into your relationships with your friends. So it's almost guaranteed to go wrong. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy most of the time. That's why the Bible tells you to leave and cleave. Study the scriptures. All right. I mean, I get what you ladies are saying that you need friends and a support system, but it's always assuming the worst case scenario. And the thing is, you ladies are the ones that tend to break up your relationships, boyfriend or husband. You ladies are the ones walking out. It's not the men. If you honestly got, if you really sat down and start looking at why relationships end and who's walking away, women are walking away from relationships. The majority of the time, 70 to 80 percent of divorces filed by women. And you don't seem to get it. This whole thing. I need my sisters around. 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 What she was basically saying is she, she felt that the sisterhood was important to have their to, to for women to basically have each other's back. That's that's the that's the gist of it. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and move her. Um, Sephora's called in before. She's a good person. Ooh, ah, got you all in check. Why is this not connecting? ODB. Hey, that's right. Shout out to my next ex-wife. With your fine ass. Taking applications for the next ex, Miss Samuels. <laughs> that's a joke. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello? Hello, your first name. Queen Best. Is your first name, is your first name uh, Queen? Or no. Is that, is that a title? Huh? Is your first name Queen or is that a, a title you've given yourself? That's just a title. That's not my first name, but Bess is my last name. Okay. What's your first name? Rolanda. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Are you mm -hmm. married, Rolanda? Mm-mm. Right. I'm not pretty. Yeah, then you gone over to Obsidian's channel with that shit. You're a big, violent woman. I don't deal with big, violent women over here. Especially big violent women that ain't married. And I've heard all the silly shit you gotta say on other people's channels. You think you won't call over here? The only way you're gonna get on my channel is you gonna you gonna cam up. It's the only way you gonna get on my cam on my channel, you gonna cam up. <laughs> And actually, we're going to change the name from Big Shirley 
And Darlene is going to be now Big Shirley and Rolanda. Rolanda. Don't that sound like rerun or some shit like that? All right. Bonnie, go ahead and unmute yourself. Shout out to Rolanda. Selling fish sandwiches on the corner. Two for a dollar. You got to unmute yourself. Bonnie, you got to unmute yourself. All right, she's not, she's not, uh, the technology's not working so well for Bonnie. Hello? Hi. Um, Hi, how are you? Good. I feel like my question's not necessarily related, but, like, how can a group of, you know, pretty, like, successful women help support each other in, you know, getting married? I know you talked about how, like... Uh, it's not, I mean, oh, yeah, it's not on topic, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, you can't. You can't help each other. Your competition. You know what? I'll, I'll answer the question. Go ahead and unmute yourself. I'll answer that question. Unmute yourself. Sure. You can't. How old are you? 25. 25. So let's say you're one of these women and you got two of your, your pretty successful homegirls. Y'all been, y'all been cool since the fifth grade or four or five years old. And y'all all said you'd be each other's, you know, God, children's mother and however y'all worked it out right? You're all cool. Super cool. You donate a kidney for her, right? Yeah. We're, okay. Yeah. I dropped one man in, in, in between all three of you. Would you be willing to compete with them, with them, uh, for him, with your homegirls? Um, I, I mean, it's happened before. No, 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 no. There's only one man, three of y'all. One of you get him. The other ones don't. Go. Are you going to compete with him? Are you going to compete for him with them? Probably. Yes or no? Probably. Nope. Probably? Most likely, yeah. I mean, he's going to have to choose at the end of the day, but definitely would have to compete. Yeah, but it's a probably. Why not a hell yeah? Why the hesitation? you're also kind of thinking about your friends and what's best and that's what's wrong with y'all because if it was three men having to compete for a woman we'd knock each other the fuck out and one would win and the other two would say good shot that's why you can't help your friends because in trying to help them you all lose because becky's gonna get her this is compa fucking tition trying to help somebody guarantees you lose you bring your Guy you just met on Match.com or Tinder or Bumble or whatever, a guy you've been texting to and you guys met up for coffee around your homegirl and he vibes with her, he should cut you off. And you'd feel some kind of way if he cut you off and went with her and they got married. Men would accept that. Say, good shot, man. She wasn't for me no way. Y'all don't want to compete with each other. You want everybody to have fucking a, a same man as you have. And this is why so many black women are losing because you don't want to compete against each other for the kind of men you say you want. You just expect, you just expect the men to just, well, he's got to choose. No, he got to choose. He doesn't have to choose. You got to prove yourself as worthy. Wasn't quite the answer you thought you were going to get. Who was it? But that's the real world answer. And I think you know it. I think, and the thing is, so many women, modern women today, just think that, well, I don't want to compete against my friends. I don't think it's fair to have to compete against my friends. Okay, well, you don't have to compete against your friends. You really don't. You don't have to do anything. But... Also, what's going to happen is the woman who has no problem competing against you is going to have a better shot at winning him. And this is one thing I'll say you better learn from Becky Marisol and Mylene and those folks because they got no problem competing with one another. They will go after they will go after the man. They will go after him uh, in all spirit and love and war. So, ODB. Y'all remember ODB? That's what that chick looked like. That's what she was on the phone that one time. You got a boyfriend? Yeah. 
He tall though. He tall. How tall? He like seven feet tall. He tall though. Really? Uh huh. Hmm. You ever bought him some shoes? Yeah. Uh huh. What size she wear? A big old size. What size he wear? Like a twelve or something? Yeah, I know who you were. I got a very good memory for my show. That's who was on the phone in the in the tunnel in Manhattan. Fuck with me. You picked the right one. Whoa, got you all in check. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hell. With gasoline draws. All right. And she's still here. Rolanda, you still here? If you hang out till I get rid of all the pretty women, you can get on last. I want to deal with all the pretty women because we know you ain't one. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Oh, yeah. I guess she thought there was going to be something. I guess she thought that was going to be something. Y'all want to hear the fool? Y'all want to hear him? Hey, everybody. Everybody, go get your glass of wine. Go get your glass of wine. Otasia's back. Come on, Otasia. Everybody, come on. Let's bring Otasia back. Let's get Otasia back. I rebuke. Come on, Otasia. Oh, it burns. Come make me a quick $1,000. Oh, it burns. Come into the stage. We've got the ghetto princess finest. Straight out the hood of Compton. Otasia. Now, she's got a pretty woman's picture with an ugly woman's attitude. Come on, Otasia. Give it to us. Unmute your big ass. There she goes, Otasia. Ride the bull. Otasia. Here she goes. There she goes. And I'm not going to just talk. Yeah, there she goes, folks. It's Otasia. She doesn't even realize she's not on the microphone. She can't be heard. She can't be heard, but she's screaming like a mad woman. Look at her. Look at her go. Otasia, everybody. Count. Let's put the TikTok on. Y'all want to hear in the background? They're here in the background. Here in the tack room. It, she's been talking for 20 seconds and don't realize she can't be heard. And she is going... She is going and going and going. Do you realize you can't be heard? Do you know you cannot be heard? Do you realize you cannot be heard? You were muted. You are not. You cannot be heard. You cannot be heard. You cannot be heard. I think she don't know Florentina. She just screaming. Oh, Tasia. She mad because they throwing change at her ass. Don't use the dollar bills. Throw your change at her, y'all. She gets mad with dollar bills. She wants your coins. Otasia wants your coins. Come on, Otasia. Come back out here and scoop up these pennies. Harriet Tubman's original granddaughter, Otasia. Come on. Unmute yourself, Otasia. Oh, there you go. Why'd you use such a beautiful woman's picture, though? Why didn't you why'd you use such a beautiful woman's picture? You can't be heard. You're not gonna overtalk me. You used why'd you use such a beautiful woman's picture? Why'd you use such a beautiful she can't hear me. So you're not being heard, silly. You're not being heard, lady. You talking to yourself. There you go. Do 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 do. Oh, and see, and and she's just going, and she's look. Like, it's like you pull a cord and wind them up. See, this is that ugly woman energy, and this ugly spirit. I'm not saying physical. I'm saying ugly spirit. This woman has a vile spirit. I don't know you. And you just talk for two minutes, putting up a nice looking woman's picture to come in here screaming like a banshee. Everybody in there laughing at her. They're like, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. thank you. All right. So what I need y'all to do is everybody throw 99 cents. If you're on the iPhone, throw 99 cents super chat in. I don't even want you to give her a dollar. Everybody give me 99 cents on the super chat. Everybody give Otasia 99 cents super chats. Coming to the stage, one more again, we've got none other than Otasia, Compton's finest, 
Big butt, bigger mouth. Big butt, bigger mouth. Here she goes. Go ahead. Hit it up, Otasia. Do the damn thing. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. And she's still talking, you know. She's still going. I'm just just going. Just going. Are you done yet? You take why don't you take a drink? Why don't you take your drink of water? Take a drink of water, okay? And then we can come back. You ready? Let me know when you're ready and we can have a conversation. You ready yet? Don't mute yourself. Come on back, Otasia. Come back, Nikki. Come back. Come back. Come back, Otasia. Are you ready for are you ready to have a conversation yet? Are you ready to have a conversation yet? And she's still going. <laughs> One more gun for you. Come on, Otasia. I'm gonna make a lot of money off you. You a good two dollar hoe. Keep on twirling for me. Come, don't go back. Come on, Otasia. We need somebody go get some more batteries so I can put them in her back. You know she a little old. Come on, back on the stage, Otasia. She keeps muting herself. See what you're not going. <laughs> Let's look at all the dollar chats we got. Otasia, what you do? You go to you go to YouTube and you look at all the ninety nine cent super chats and dollars you got because that's people who said you ain't even worth a dollar. The conversion rate. You should have gave me if you're from Canada, give me a Canada a Canadian dollar. I do not want a full dollar. I won't change for her. And this is the energy pretty girls' friends have. That's the that's that ugly girl energy. Ugly girl, just vile. Just mad like a motherfucker. Just angry. Angry, angry, angry. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Otasia. She just swole up. She just chunky like a motherfucker. What, uh, you gonna come back? Don't mute yourself. Come back. No, I gotta get rid of you. Let's do this, though. Let's do this real quick. <laughs> We're going to give... Okay, I'm going to take some more calls in, guys, but I had to do that. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. That was some fun shit. You can't talk to me like that. You don't... She swole up. <clears throat> so, to Otasia Cousin them... What y'all need to realize is you never going to be able to get in here screaming at me. It's not going to happen. It simply will not work. All you're going to do is make yourself look like a zip damn fool. And I'm going to make about five, six hundred dollars off your ignorant ass. You're going to be a comedy bit. I'm going to put you on Instagram and you just might freak around and go viral. Um, but nobody will know who you are. So, guys, understand, these women are this angry. About what? About what? You can't say this to me. You can't talk to me that way. But you know what they're not willing to do? Women like her are not willing to get on the camera and talk that shit showing their face. They're not willing to do that. The damn sure not willing to do that, but they'll but they'll do this. They'll post a picture of a woman looking like that, and we know that if she looked like that, she would not be as angry as she is. But you you see the thing is, women like her always post pictures of light skinned women with good hair. Why do they do that? Why do women like her post pictures of light skinned women with good hair? When they're trying to sneak in. See, that's what I told you, sisters. 
you pretty girls, they even, they try to use you. They'll even use your image to their benefit. Even they'll even go so low as trying to use your image to their benefit when they're trolling. To you, to, 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 uh, to them, you are just an object. You're not a person. That's why I said to you, pr you pretty women who are saying, I feel bad for doing thus and such, such and so forth to my friends. They're not your friends. You are an object to them. You're an object of their scorn and you're an object of their desire. They simultaneously want to be you and they simultaneously hate you. And you've just seen a very good example of that. She didn't come in here with her own picture. She came in here using somebody else's. So let's get back into it. Florentina, go ahead and unmute yourself. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Huh? What'd you say? Oh, you gotta, you gotta turn off the YouTube in the background. You got you got YouTube on in the background, so can't do that. If you've got YouTube playing in the background, you can't be on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, just a second, guys. Let me do this. Meow 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 meow. All right, YouTube is going nuts. They are going ham. Thank you guys for all the dollars. We can take some of that and put it on her light bill. Take some of that money and put it on her light bill. Florentina, you ready to come on yet? You have to have YouTube off in the background though. Okay. Go ahead and unmute yourself. You still have YouTube playing in the background. You every time I okay. Turn YouTube off. You know what? I'm gonna just move on. I I I try to be nice. Britt, come on. Hello, Britt. Um, this is I think the first time that I've disagreed with you. Why? Um only because I've had friends, like you said, since the fifth grade that, you know, aren't, they're average or below, but they are so supportive of me. Like, it's never a, a ugly attitude. Okay. So um, I don't know how I feel about you, like, just saying, like, drop your friends. Is it not, is it not drop your friends, just don't hang out with those friends? Like, well, well. How does that work? Well, hold on. First, first of all, we got to find a couple of things. One, we're talking about when you're in a relationship. In a relationship, well, I'm, not, you, okay. I'm not just talking about when you're single. Talk about if you're in a relationship because are you telling me that you'll be the first woman I've ever met whose friends have never been a, 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 a you'll be the first one I've met who've never had to choose between her friends and a relationship. No, I've never had to do that. Okay, well, you're the first woman I've ever met that's never had to do that. At 51, I've never met a woman who's never, hey, let's go here. Oh, well, so-and-so's having a bad day or her cat died or it's, uh, and it's always her single friends. Always I've never friend. had that ever. Well, okay, so well, count yourself. Like my friend, when I say my friends are like ugly, cute, pretty, they're mm -hmm. always super supportive of whatever okay, but, I have okay, going but, on when but it comes to dating thing, or But here's the thing. Well, here's the okay. Let's let's do it your way. Seems so like you're the only woman I've ever met that's never had friends interfere with a relationship. Because mm -hmm. I mean, do you have a pet? Do I have a pet? Mm-hmm. A, yeah, I have a Yorkie, a, do a dog. Okay. And no different than a dog is a concern in a new relationship because have you has your pet never been an, uh, an, an, been an issue when dating someone new? 
No. All right, then you're dating suckers. Because <laughs> cause, cause I'm going to be honest, I've done too many broadcasts with guys sitting there saying, these damn dogs are a problem. Why do you think I have this song? That sound? Because it's a problem. Dogs are just like a kid, and the kid is a problem. And women get split yeah, between their friends. I've actually used my dog as an excuse to leave a situation, but I've uh, never had her be a hindrance to dating, trips, anything. Have you taken the dog on a trip with you? No. All right. So, since though we're going in Britland because uh, you can go back to any broadcast I've shown, and there are hundreds of guys, thousands of men saying yes. This is a problem. Even today, with all these men saying yes, uh, let's say you are with a man, a fiance, a, you find Mr. Boaz, your dream guy, you're dating, you guys are seriously dating, but he has a problem with your friends. He wants your time and okay. he doesn't want you to be spending time with your friends. He wants all your time. What happens? Then that's what he's going to get. Okay. And that's your, not that's not an issue. That's and, what I'm saying. My but, friends but have, have you, never been a hater because they know. But did you not I'm gonna pick my man? Listen, but have, did you not listen to every other woman before you say that's a problem for them? Yeah, I heard that. That's why. That, so it's I not you disagree why with me. My disagreement was I've never had that issue, so I don't agree with dropping my friends or because I've never dealt with that. Okay, due respect. Just because you haven't dealt with it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There are three women that were on before okay, yeah. you. Right. And see, you ladies are always so good at uh, making it about you when it fits you. And now you're saying, well, I disagree because I haven't seen this. I just showed you three women that had the problem. Okay. Yeah, you're and right. Here's the thing. Is, that's a and personal here's the thing. situation. And, I, and thing. I hope for you that you are not disappointed <laughs> when this happens because what happens if you have your man... And he and he wants all your time, and then your friends are like, "Well, damn, girl, he's controlling. He's this or that. Or why?" Uh, uh, most women don't just say, "Yeah, go away." And whenever you just just okay, bye bye. Most women don't let let friends go. They fight for their friends. That's just so codependent, or uh, okay. I, I don't know. Like, well, all right, well, that's crazy. We, 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 let's, okay. we're going, we, yeah, we're going I, back into I normal. Get it specific <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the rest of us, uh, everybody else seems to be on the same page. It's like, yeah, women want, women interfere with people's relationships. And most men uh, do not like your girlfriends. They just might not say it, but most men don't like your girlfriend. Because they know good and doggone well. They know everything about your relationship. And when you have an argument with your man, you go tell her, and she ends up siding with you. You get forgive your man. Your friends don't forgive him. Christy, she's shaking her head like, yeah. No, okay, let's get on to the next. Okay, head up. Uh, let's do this. TC, go ahead. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Hi. Do you disagree? No, I agree with you. Okay. Um. And here's why. When I got engaged, I'm married. I've been, I'll be, it'll be five years this year. Okay. My best friend, she totally started acting crazy and funny Thank as you. soon as I got engaged. And I, I tried to have a talk with her and she gave me excuses. So I cut her off. But everybody around me felt, no, put her in your wedding, do this, do that. And I said, no, I'm not doing it. And I could, I cut her off completely. After mm. we got married, you know, my husband would ask me questions like, why are you not always with your friends? Because I'm married. I felt like I can't do what single people do. And I'm not, I'll see them at birthdays, you know, at social gatherings. But when they go on to watch the Bears game and there's other single men there, do yep. you want me there? Exactly. No, I'm going to no. be with you to go watch the Bears game or I'm going to just sit my ass at home. Mm -hmm. And so I've had to cut off friends because of that because of the jealousy, because I don't talk to them. I'm not telling you my business. You don't need to know. Whatever go on between us, we're going to work it out. Of course, you need someone to consult with, and mm -hmm. I have a confidant, but I, I look at her marriage and the way she and her husband live their but life. she's a married woman. Thank you. That, yes, that's Britt, done. Really the only person Hold I on, hold on. Britt, are you paying attention? 
This is the best insurance you can give for your relationship. Get rid of your problematic single friends. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go Bears. <laughs> oh, it's hard to be a Bears fan, ain't it? God, it's hard to be a Bears fan. Shit. It is. Right. But I still love them. Still hard, though. Thank you. So, ladies, I'm not saying this because men are insecure. It's men realize that there's going to come a point in time where you're going to have to choose. And it's better to choose your married uh, people because married people have a different mindset and calculus than single people. It simply is the same. Uh, Tasia, maybe this is Otasia. Tasia, are you Otasia? Let's see. Unmute yourself, Tasia. Are you Otasia? Are- You're not Otasia? Uh-uh, uh-uh. What's your disagreement? What's your disagreement? Okay, but do you have a disagreement, though? Sure. I just want some clarification, because based on my understanding of what you're saying, you're saying that a married woman shouldn't have any single friends. But my mother got married in 2008, and... um, her best friend wasn't married in two, until 2013. So should my mother have dropped her best friend because it wasn't her okay, time I can't, okay, for let, her to let's, find let, her let man yet? Something. Or what do okay. you think? Got ladies, there's always exceptions. But in general, did you hear the did you hear the previous married woman? Did you hear the previous woman before you? She muted herself. Unmute yourself, ma'am. Did you hear the yeah, previous? I did. I did hear okay. her. And again, uh, like that's because her best friend was acting weird. Maybe she was experiencing. Uh, but, did, and did you hear the previous other women who were in relationships? I did. There's your answer. But my mom is okay, now ma'am. happy. Now, her there's best no friend buts. is See, happy. This is what you women always want to do. This is what you women always want to do. You get your answers, and it's and, and no, you always you mm, see single Dina. What I told you impossible it's never you want it your french toast way two plus two is four yeah but there's no reasoning with four it is or it isn't you ladies are gonna have to start getting all right with it, things being what they are you think you can talk your way out of everything or get things to submit to your will the world is what it is and it's showing you that the way many women like to move these days is not working. In our community, one in four will get married. That means three of y'all are going to. By yourself, prior to 1965, eight out of 10 of us were married. What changed? Your attitude regarding men. All right. Um, let's raise some hands. Let's see. She's got a. Uh, unmute yourself. Um, hi. Hello. How are you? What's your? Uh, what do you got for me on the topic? So, what do you got for me on the topic? through a whole friend cleansing process. Um, I had to drop a lot of friends who were, like you were talking about, jealous of, um, I guess, wanting to level up. So I I wanted to ask, um, like, what advice do you have once you've kind of gone through that process? Um, Are you married? Huh? Are you married or dating? It's hard to hear me. Are you married or are you, what's your status? No, No, I'm actually like i'm almost 21 i'm still young i just want to kind of um yeah, you got you got okay here. do you want to be married yes i do um were your mother and father married yes all right the best thing for women who want to be married is to understand the kind of lifestyle you want to lead and one the kind of men who can help facilitate that number one number two find out what the women who are their husbands did to get their man. But that's really not this subject. This is, that's a different topic. So thank you. And then you're a little bit young for this one too. So, all right, Christy. 
You next? What do you got for me? Hi, Kevin. Good hey, evening. how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, what you got for me? What, what I can definitely say, you may mention about pretty women having friends and should they cut them loose concerning um, yeah. when they start dating. Is that correct? Well, it's not necessarily when they start dating, but <laughs> they single. if you're a pretty woman and you have average friends, they are jealous of your opportunities. Make no mistake. If you want to be married, your calculus is going to likely have to change because your opportunities are going to come often before theirs. And women don't tend to, you've heard this story before. So uh, do you want to get married? Oh, yes. Yes. I would want to actually remarry. Okay. Um, what I have experienced when I was single, I had a friend from work. We all worked at a bank together. And we would go out and she would always want me to come along with her. And lo and behold, it was to basically attract, you know, yes. a certain category, um, <laughs> category of men. Yep. And yeah, she. You were the bait. She, excuse me? You were the bait. Yes. Yes. I did come to realize that. And afterwards, I cut that friendship loose. And after she that. Did, she didn't you tell know, you you were the bait? Did she tell me? Uh huh. Did she, she didn't tell te me? Yeah. Did she tell you, "Hey, girl, come over over here so you can draw oh, these men to"? Okay. Of That's course fine. not. She was actually she just wanted me to come along, and then she was kind of like sabotaging my opportunities. How? That's what occurred. <laughs> How was she sabotaging your opportunities? I'm sorry. How was she sabotaging your opportunities? Um, certain men that were attracted to me, I found out that she would feed them uh, misinformation mm -hmm. or Tell um, it. downgrade my my characteristics mm -hmm. um, and attitude personality so mm. she could be better fitted for them. It's called dirty macking. Okay. <laughs> it's called dirty macking. Yes, and they would do yes, they would do this and they would do this when you go to the bathroom. Uh, Matter of fact, she ended up one day uh, we went out together yeah. and she ended up texting a guy from my phone. Naomi, to, you're next. I'm sorry. I was saying, saying to Naomi, she's next. Go ahead. You got about 20 more seconds. Right. Yeah. She ended up texting a guy from my phone to hook up and Ugh. just under under my persona. So Oh, so she was letting you out. Yeah. So there you this go. Horrible mm -hmm. So you heard it from a woman's mouth that women are foul when it comes to. The, thank you very much, Christy. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm telling you, ladies, it's blood sport. These your your uh, unattractive friends got no problem using you for bait and in, and throwing you under the bus when it doesn't when it don't fit them. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They would cut your Achilles tendon to crawl over you to get that man while you sit up here trying to get make sure they get a get a boyfriend. Naomi, what you got for me? Unmute yourself. With your little bonnet on your head. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. What's going on? I'm a little now? nervous. I've been That's watching all right. you for it's a just, couple it's months. It's just now, you and me. Good. I'm in, I'm enjoying your show so You're far. You're over there fantasizing. I'm, yeah, I smell good too. Mm -hmm. Um I do agree with uh, what you have to say. I think that when it comes to other women in your group, if you are a little bit more attractive than them and you, I don't know, are doing better than them, they almost want to bring you down. Call it so pretty. Say, no, no, hold on. Don't say a little bit. I'm, I, stop hiding the pretty. Call it pretty. If you're pretty and they ain't. Okay. When you're prettier than them, Thank you. they do Thank want you. to bring you down. Anytime they see you wanting to do better for yourself. They want to bring you down. And I've experienced it myself. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And see, the <laughs> thing you. is, my goal is to help demystify the pretty professional woman so y'all can get out of your paralysis and stop downplaying the pretty because why? It's your gift. It's your edge. That'd be like a tall guy not, you know, dunking just because he thought it was unfair. Fuck that dunk. It's your Q-tip. Go on now. <laughs> Go on, Vogue. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. She came over with a little bow on her head. 
Totally. <laughs> See, I-, I tell you, look at guys. Think about what I'm saying. I'm not putting every woman up here, but think about the voodoo. Average and unattractive women have got attractive women feeling guilty about being attractive. Can you imagine a broke dude trying to make you feel guilty for having money? We would laugh. <laughs> what? Oh, man, you over there driving that Lamborghini. Shit. Real dudes ride the bus. They <laughs> say, what? Men wouldn't even think like that. But that's equivalent. Yeah. Even to the word, she's like, well, women who are a little bit more attractive. See how they have to meter themselves? Instead of just saying women who are pretty. It's bad, man. How do I know? Because your godfather runs around these women. I see you. And here's the thing. So many of these women are stuck over here on stupid. And I'm trying to free them from stupid and put them back in play so y'all can go get them. No stuck on stupid. Don't waste the pretty. All right. So um, uh, in the chat room. Evil spells. I know, man, just crazy. Can you imagine what old girl did? She would use old girl in to bait the dudes in so her ass could get free chicken wings and cosmopolitans. And she would be sneak dissing and throwing slick shots while Boaz is sitting next to the bait. And she'd be salting her while she's there. And then when she leaves to go to the bathroom, She'd be telling me, you know, she she she's got, you know, she's got stage six herpes, you know, so, you know, but you but you probably safe, you know, it don't affect tall guys. So you probably safe. just saying all kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, she used to be a man. Her dick probably. Be, oh, hey, hey, girl. How you back? Uh huh. Mm hmm. That's how they do. That's how they do. And then she got to go out to the car. Oh, can I use your phone? Think about what this woman did. She went in her Tinder account, used her thumbprint. This how that probably probably got a uh, probably got an Elmer's glue thumbprint of hers. <laughs> Opened her phone, went to all her Tinder accounts. Less F, come hit this. I want you tonight. I mean, she come back in. Her phone's blowing up with all these dudes talking about swing by. I got a Domino's pizza and some box wine. What the hell didn't happen? If you ever been online on Tinder or something like that, when it like boost period, she she did did the booty call boost on her friend. That's some nasty, vile shit. See, if dudes did that, we would do it uh, as a prank, like when you fart on your boy's nose when he sleep. We would do it just to see his response. She did it to salt her up. That's some nasty shit. Uh, e told you. Shout out to the PhDs. I'm a PhD. <laughs> oh, Florentina, you ready? Now, nah, let's go. Unmute yourself. Do, 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 do. Won't uh, you tonight? Then she come back in. You're doing it again. All right, Florentina, apparently you're not understanding that. You have to turn off YouTube. So I can't have you on. We've tried many times. Every time you come on, you have YouTube playing in the background and it creates double back. So everybody say goodbye to Florentina. If y'all don't learn how to work these damn Zoom calls and background, stop getting in them. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious the papers. Where the cash at? Where the stash at? Uh, Queen Best, your hand is still up. Go ahead and lower your hand. If you want to talk, you're going to have to cam up. You're going to have to talk. You have to... If you disagree in the chat room on Zoom or... Keep calling, I'm a PhD. <laughs> it's your fine ass. Hey, now, if you got a disagreement uh, or you think I'm wrong or you have something different to bring in a Zoom call, raise your hand. Ladies, I know many of you don't like my tone. Think I'm 
over the top, pejorative, whatever. But at the end of the day, men are over here. And men are telling you what they want. And Brit, I know there are ladies like you who think the best of your friends as well. Uh, Listen to the other ladies. The situation is likely it just hasn't got that critical yet. The men you ladies want are, are in short supply. And you need to get your mind around the fact that you're going to have to compete for them. Compete for them. And the competition is without, but it's also within. The people who know you are going to be your some of your biggest competitors. Okay. Now, I, I do have to ask. That, okay, Alexis, we're going to go up next. Well, what is going on here? Uh, pretty Girl Problems. Okay. Alexis, go ahead. Hi, how old are you? Um, God damn. What just happened there? Unmute yourself again. Go ahead. No, I don't want to guess. I don't play games. Nope, no problem. Uh, what do you got for me on the topic? Well, I'm just, I mean, I'm looking for women who have experience with this. Are you calling from the pretty girl side? As a pick, as a pick you up? Who would use me in a sense to make herself look better all the time when in my opinion, there was not even a need for a, a competition. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying your sister brought you along to make her look better? Yeah, pretty much. How old is your sister? She's like, she's going to be turning um 28 this year. Okay. It's, it's almost both of our birthdays. She didn't hold a gun to your head, though. I mean, yeah, but, you know, I was... um no, I'm talking about when I was like in my young, more or less my younger days, and I haven't really right. changed up more, more or less. Okay. But so I what, say, what, yeah. what do you have on the topic, though? But I will just say that um, I I do agree with the fact that like, if there's like a man involved, um, women become competitive real quick, uh -huh. more or less. Okay. But if not, then I feel like they will be supportive and everything, but everything mm -hmm. kind of switches when men are involved. Right, as it should. Do you ever play video games? Oh, actually, I am. Okay, that's my biggest hobby. The Super so Mario I Brothers, those little things with those mushrooms on their head, the little things. The that's what that bonnet. That's what that bonnet looked like. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I still have it on though. Yeah. Oh, I don't do that. Don't do that. Do 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 remember the little mushroom head kid? Somebody <laughs> Oh it's funny cause it's true. Dink dunk dunk da dink dunk 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 Okay. Oh let's do this. Oh I'm going to hell, but it's fun on the way. Breon, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, hello, hello. No. Huh? What's your name? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Think, think. See, when I say disagreements mean raise your hand, that doesn't mean raise your hand to pretend like you have a disagreement to then just get in here and talk about what you want to talk about. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to click you off and move you to the next one. I mean what I say, I say what I mean. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D
D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D What you gonna do when I like catch an attitude? Drop to the knees and show gratitude. Kiss my ring, chick. This song right here is for all the fellas out there. Taking care of business and making that money. To provide for their ladies, provide for their family. And to all the ladies out there. The fellas are gonna need a little bit more than a big piece of chicken. If you got a good man and you want for nothing, and you wanna keep that man, you need to learn how to check that attitude. You need to show some appreciation. You need to show some respect. Girl, all my friends, tell your lady, bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Kiss the ring, kiss the ring. Bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Pay how much to the king in your life. Wisdom and security, I give that. Devotion and honesty, I show that. Passion and love, you feel that. Bow down, girl, you need to show some respect. Musical interlude. I need that. Friendship and trust, I've earned that. Chinese New Year. Appreciation, I deserve that. All right. Bow down, pay how much to the king in your life. So, Baby girl, what's the deal? I'm going to do something different. No We're going to clear the board. Apparently, she still wants to talk, so let's talk. Come on, girl. Give me some feedback. All right, here we go. I'm going to put everybody in the waiting room. You're really saying not tonight. My blood is boiling hot, girl. You're getting me tight. To the right, to the right. Don't let that door hit your ass when you leave. You talking like you hot, you not. Shorty, I know dime pieces, trust me, you not. You not. I can get a next chick, next one. like Gucci said in the next 15 minutes. You ain't special, don't be foolish. Running around town like you rich, no, I'm rich. Without me, you wouldn't even have it. I'm Scrooge McDuck swimming in money. Hold my top hat. Park Avenue lifestyle, you love it. You're acting out of order and now you're gonna lose it. You claim that you're in love with me and love with me. You wanna be my wifey, be my wifey. That's looking pretty bleak, unlikely. You should have paid how much, girl? You fucked up, can't do it. No more, I'm done. I'm fed up, game over, clock ran out. Girl, get time's up, get your things, have a nice life. Keep your head up like Shaq and Kobe was a good team. But now we broke up, should have bowed to me, bowed to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Kiss the ring, kiss the ring. Bow to me, bow to me, kneel for me, kneel for me. Pay how much you're the king in your life. Wisdom and security, I give that. Devotion and honesty, I show that. Passion and love, you feel that? Bow down, girl, you need to show some respect. Obedience and loyalty, I need that. Friendship and trust, I've earned that. Gratitude, appreciation, I deserve that. Bow down, pay how much you're the king in your life. Come on, girl, you know you love it. Stop tripping in front and no shame to do it. All I do for you, bow down, kiss that. Pucker up, girl, you need to show some respect. Come on, girl, you know you love it. Stop chipping the front and no shame to do it. All I do for you, girl, you know you better kiss that. Bow down, pay how much you're the king in your life. Come on, come on. All right, you know you so what is your issue? Come on, you know you love it. Yeah, so what is your issue? Yeah, but the thing is, you have is you have issues because uh, I've heard you on multiple panels, multiple platforms, speaking extremely rudely, ill of me, very pejoratively. Uh, why? I mean, I listen to Crystal and Karis, and I, I listen to Crystal Swirls. I'm more kind of like on their side, you okay. know. And, and, and That's even you, fine, admitted, but but huh? the things you've said about me, you've been very insulting, ma'am. And do you even watch my content or do you listen to what other people say? Yeah, I listen to what some of the other women said about you. Okay. On platform. So, so is, and you think that's appropriate? I don't think it's appropriate. No, but I, I, I do kind of agree of where they're coming from because they 
tell black women to open up their options. And I think on this channel, I, I, I just don't think it's realistic. Some of the stuff you say- Hold I do, on, hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. This is what you're about to say. You don't watch my content. You don't know yes, what I, do. I talk about. Yes, I do. Actually, I do watch your content. Ma'am, I've listened to the things you said on platforms, and you've been outright lying about me. You watch Crystal Swirls. That's fine. You watch Crystal and Karis, and that's fine. What, so do I tell, what do I tell black women about their options then? I mean, kind of what they said, you make it seem like the only options that black women have is black men. Which, which shouldn't be so. Wrong. And, 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 and Kevin, See, that just shows you don't Kevin? watch my. No, that just shows you don't watch my content. Absolutely, one hundred percent false. Ma'am, just say Kevin, you just just say you don't like black men. You have an issue with black men. Don't lie and say that I said something I didn't say. No, I, and I'm not. But but even you said if every black man got married, it would still be ten million black women left. I mean, let's just be realistic. It's not enough. If every, no, no, no. If let's be realistic. If it's every, sad. if every man got, if every man got married, if every got, if every man got married, there would only be, there would still be unmarried women. There's not enough women for men. Period. I, I agree with that, and that's with every race. And then when you when you say. You know, black women have to be a size four and size six. No, you we're gonna no, 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 no. We're gonna stick on this black woman and our options thing. Tell me where okay. I've said black women's only option are black men. Tell me where I've said that. You, you because you never talked about interracial dating. Tell me where I've about... said that. No, ma'am. No, 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 no. I have not said that. Matter of fact, I've said I don't care who you date. I date the best of whatever you can get. You're wrong. You're outright wrong. But you, but that doesn't matter. I'm sitting here telling you you're wrong. I'm asking you to tell me why I said it, and you can't even be woman enough to say, you know what? I'm sorry, sir. I did not listen to your content, and you're telling me I said something I didn't, and you can't prove it because I didn't say it. You don't have to be angry at me. Why are you so I'm very, I know I'm very angry when black women like you decide to go around and lie on a black man like myself. That's why you came over to Obsidian's channel to defend Crystal Swirls and the Crystal and Carrison from I, their I attacks. I like Crystal Swirls because I think Crystal Swirls is. I you don't know, I care think what she... Crystal Swirls does. Crystal Swirls has come over to my channel and I said, let her rock out and say what she wants to. She wasn't blocked. She could say what she wants to. Crystal and Carrison came over here and was treated with nothing but respect. I even gave her a wrench. Ma'am, you're simply wrong. You don't know me. You don't watch my content. But if you speak on me, calling me this and that and fag and gay and niggas and all this other kind of shit, ma'am, it's black women like you that make black men not like black women like you. When you're wrong, you can't even admit it. Instead, you instead of just admitting you're wrong, you want to try to deflect and go into the next subject. Just admit you're wrong. But I don't feel like I am because I feel like a lot of times. Well, tell me where I said it then. I'm not just talking about that in particular. No, I'm talking you know, about I'm, that. I'm talking about this. See, that's what that's what women like to do. Tell me where I said black women's only option is to date black men. That, that's what you make it seem like. I, I, I did not make it seem like that. that. That is wrong. That's what you make that it seem wrong. like, Kevin. That is wrong. That is wrong. You don't watch my content. I know what I say. And see, I w and I'm doing this for a very specific reason, black women. I want you to hear that this black woman refuses, refuses to back off of a position that is patently wrong. It still matters more what she feels than what the truth is. I just feel that you are hard on black women. You know, I feel like you're very I'm hard, hard on, on black women like you when you lie on black men with no remorse. If I was anti-dating out, why would I invite Crystal, Crystal and Carson onto my platform? Go to the day, go to the day she came on and listen to what I said. Why don't you just admit you're wrong, man? Well, if I'm wrong, I apologize. If, if I'm wrong or if I misunderstood your content, I do apologize. I do. I do. And if you're wrong about this, you're wrong about a lot of stuff. And my question is this, why is it so easy for you to sit back and talk about me in a way with such certitude when you don't watch what I do, but you're willing to go other places and talk about me when you don't watch what I say?
Because because the because the the content creators say that you know this. I don't care what they say. I ask you why you do it. You're responsible as an adult for what you say about other people. You can't come home and tell me, well, because they did it, I did it. You're a grown woman. You're right. You're right. See, what people say about somebody matters. Any of those two women you mentioned have come over here and been treated rudely. I don't care about dating out. I say date who was make yourself the best version of yourself and then date whoever you choose to. I've said that since day one. And then, and then another thing, like when you talk about women's sizes and stuff, most black women, and even you notice yourself, isn't a size four, isn't a size six. Well, uh, no, that's, I, today. I that's huh? today. That's today. That's today. But that's not that's not what it used to be. But I feel like you can be a size ten and look good. You can be a size twelve and look good. Okay. You know, I, I know okay, that in y'all's world, that's because okay. But who's but who's but who's but who's the judge? Is it women or men? Men, men are usually the judge because men are all the usually usually the ones that pick what right. they like or whatever. Uh, right, and and what has happened as women as, as women's weight have gone up, marriages have gone down. But see, most black men say that they like curvy women, so it's like it, I it's, said, it's, as it's women's cool. weight have gone up, I said marriages have gone down. I don't concern myself with hooking up, dealing. I concern myself with marriages because that's what we can verify. But a lot of black men don't want to get married. A no, lot of them, they, they, that's they don't not like true, marriage, and they don't that's like not family. True. That's not true. Black men are more married than black women, and there are fewer mar- black men are more married than black women, and there are fewer black men. See, man, what you're proving is you believe a lot of a lot of propaganda, and a lot of misinformation, and honestly, a lot of lies. Coming over here saying black men don't want to get married. I got a Facebook group that's been up for less than six months, eight black couples, and three engagements in under six months. That's that's more than any one of those two people you just mentioned. And I'm not in that business. Oh, black men get with black women, by the way. But that's when I, when, that's not what I hear. I hear on that's not what I don't care what you hear. Them. But that's what? not what the swirlers say. That's not what the swirlers say. Excuse me? That's not what the swirlers say. The swirler, the swirlers. And what do they say? They said a lot of times I'll get with Becky and Becky be like three or four hundred pounds. But then y'all but then y'all talk about a, a, a black woman being skinny. But a lot of times when y'all date white women, they're fat. They, sometimes they're actually bigger so than you, black So women. how old are you? 36. 36. You're a grown, middle-aged black woman. And you're telling me that you're judging black men based on what some other black women say versus versus what black men say about themselves? But see, these black women are older than me. And I uh, listen and, to him. And, uh, black men, and there's no fool like an old fool. Sounds they're wrong. See, here's the thing. What you saying, what the swirlers say, when you go out in, in your own world, you don't see black men with overweight black women. You see mostly, most groups of people are with each other. 80 mm-hmm. plus percent of black men, 85 percent of black men are with married to black women. Ma'am, you're just wrong. You believe a lot of BS. And you keep putting it off on what the soil is say. You are a grown, middle-aged black woman responsible for what you say, what you see. You can't put this off on what somebody else did. You're repeating it. But Kevin, uh, I see it myself a lot of times. You know, when they say a lot, a lot of black but, but is it the when majority? they say a lot of black guys. Is it the color. majority? But when they say that a lot of black men of color, it's they are. No, see, so you've tried to move the goalposts. Look at what has happened, folks. Listen to what has happened. Listen to what has happened, people. She's coming here trying to say that I've told black women not to exercise or date out. Then she told. Then she said I talk about weight. Then she's tried to go to. Then she's tried to go to black men dating white women. Now she's trying to go to the colorism. No, ma'am, I don't allow women to just skip. You have been wrong at each step. You've been wrong, proven wrong, factually wrong, every point. And instead of just relenting, you keep wanting to go to the next point. Rolanda, you're wrong. 
black men are with black women, like white men are with white women, like Hispanic men are with Hispanic women, etc. The facts go against everything you're talking about. The data goes against everything you're talking about. So what you see anecdotally in your little corner of the world is irrelevant to the truth. And as the middle-aged black woman, you're responsible for what comes out of your mouth. You want black men to be responsible for what they say about black women, don't you? Yeah, because I feel like a lot of times... Do, do you or don't you? Do you want black men to be responsible with what they say about black women? Yeah. Then you need to do the same damn thing. But but my thing, Kevin, is, and I'm not trying to be mean, but how can you praise a group of people that don't even like you? That that's crazy. Praise a group of people. What are you talking about? Praise a group of people like who? Praising black men when a lot of times they don't like me, they overlook me. So why why, why am I praising a group? Well, let me of ask men you a question then. Let me ask you a question. First off, I can't deal with the group. But let me ask you: If you say black men don't like you, have you asked them why? No, I never asked why because well, I. Well, then I, I hold can't. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you? Are, are, do you? Did you go to college? Huh? Did you go to college? Uh, did I go to college? No. Uh-uh. Okay, but you have a job. Yes, I got a full time uh, job. Yeah. Okay, so if you had a restaurant and you served chicken, mm-hmm. and you put it in the middle of a place where people eat chicken, but nobody's coming to your chicken restaurant. Would you say that these people over here just don't like chicken? These people are fucked up because they don't eat they don't eat my chicken because I'm black. Or would you go out to the neighborhood or the or the consumers and ask them, "Have you tried my chicken? When you tried it, what did you think about it? Did you like it? What can I do to improve my chicken so you'll come buy it? What would you do if you own that business?" Hmm. Would you curse the, would you curse out the potential customers or would you try to or would you <laughs> no, try I'm to give them them out, or, or, or would you try I, to or would you try to find out why they're not buying your chicken because they seem to be buying it from other places I would want to know why but nine times out of ten they're not supporting your business nine nine oh, times no, out of ten, stop you, right there see see what you just did is you tried to go back to what you already believe your confirmation bias stop it's point one you go back and ask them I asked you have you ever asked the black men that you date or whatever why they don't want to date you? The answer they is they don't like no. me. My thing is, and, 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 and I'm why? Not angry, why? But, oh, why? I don't know. But, and that's but the, you know, this, hold on, stop, stop. Let me tell you, you need to ask them why, because they're the ones who dated you and they can tell you. But it seems to be is you what you what you've done with me is you would rather make up a story and go find evidence to support the story other than find out the truth. Because once you find out the truth, you can fix it. But if you make up a story, you don't have to do anything. No, no, no. But what, but what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, Kevin, is I've heard things from other content creators. I'm not saying that you know. This is. I'm talking about you and dating. Oh lord! You've switched all over the place. I'm very good at staying on track. You said, "Why would you praise a group of men who don't like you?" I'm asking you, who? You said black men. You said black men. I said I can't speak for all black men. I can only speak to the black men you've dated. Have you dated black men? Yes. Have you asked them why they don't like to continue to date you? You said no. Why didn't you ask them what the problem was? Because I always, it's always that group of men. I don't have a problem. Why didn't you ask the men? He didn't answer the question. See, you understood the logic in the chicken restaurant. Mm-hmm. But but you don't want to deal with the same logic when it comes to black men. So that proves you understand how this works. Do you make room for the possibility that maybe black black men are responding to the fact that you don't like them? Because just like a restaurant tool would go ask the customers what the problem is, so they can make the restaurant better. You sound like the restaurateur who will cuss the customers out for not buying. Because effectively, when you talk about black men, you cussing them out for not buying your chicken. Instead of asking them, what's wrong with my chicken? Because <laughs> you're saying everybody else like my chicken. Well, if that's the case, where's your uh, husband? Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Where, where's Brad? Where's Leah? Mary Keith and Enrique? Where's your, where's your non-black <laughs> husband? Mm-mm. Oh, Lord. Well, because 80% of the time, people marry their own race. So I don't, yeah, that's I, don't concern true. My, I don't concern myself with people dating each other because dating don't matter. Ben Affleck dated J-Lo, but he married Jennifer Gardner. Yeah. Boston white man married a white woman, not big booty J-Lo. Mm-hmm. So maybe, just maybe, you need to ask black men what the problem is. But I would tell you, based upon how you've addressed me, approached me, spoken to me, you've come at me in bad faith, with ill intent, and had no problem saying it. Maybe, just maybe, black men are responding to your animus, your contempt, and lack of respect for the overall black male image that they didn't do. Because see, if I had approached you the way you've talked to me on other places, I would have brought you on here and cussed you out. Instead, I made a few jokes, but I kept you there and I brought you back on to talk to you with respect like a person, just like I did to Crystal and Karrison, just like I gave to Crystal Swirls because I don't fear any of the stuff you think I, any of the stuff you're talking about. I'm the man I say I am. Black men are not your enemy. Black men are not your enemy. Black men are not your enemy. Well, and the thing is, I don't begrudge swirlers or dating out, but at the end of the day, they're not enough of any group dating out for any group to get more than 50%. I I agree with that. So if that's the case, make yourself the best version of yourself possible and Mm -hmm. exercise your options. But at the end of the day, if men aren't choosing... You, they're not buying what you're selling. The problem ain't the men. The problem is the product. All right, man. I, I got to get on to the next person, but thanks for coming by. Okay. Stop talking bad about me. I'm sorry. All right. Have a good night. <clears throat> Yeah, I said I, I don't w- wish any ill toward the swirling movement or any of those people. I, I've never, I've, you going you have to find, you gonna have to show me evidence why I said something crazy about any of those people, especially negative. I know a lot of negative has been said about me. Funniest thing you've heard me do is have my uh, personal assistant mean that somebody made for me. But anywho, um. Rounding back out to the show, look, ladies, competition is natural between women, especially when you're competing for the best of the best of men. Eights, nines, and tens, you pretty gorgeous, pretty beautiful and gorgeous women. You have attract, you have appearance access to these men. Whether or not you can get them is irrelevant, but you are, you have right of first refusal based upon your looks. Uh, you only get one life. Live your life for you because human nature says if if your sister friends, your girlfriends, your homegirls could get your opportunities, you best believe they would take them. It would be foolish to not. All right. I didn't go live last night on Instagram. So I'm going to probably go live tomorrow night on Instagram to catch up for Thursday's show. And then next week, I'm fluting out to going, going back, back to Cali, Cali, going to be in Cali from the 2nd through the 7th. But after that, I'm going down to Texas, Houston. We have a problem, Houston. I'm sliding through Dallas, but I'm spending most of my time in Houston. Houston has an overabundance of pretty, beautiful and gorgeous professional paralysis women. I see them on a podcast. uh, It's amazing to me the glut of women that tend to be in Houston or New York City. So we're going to go down to Houston. If you were down in the Houston area and you want to, I'm actually going to start doing live remote. So instead of just being in the area, I may have people come by the hotel, the suite, and do the interview over there. Um, Yeah, stay tuned. 
2021 is going to be dope. And I love Houston. It'll be crawfish season too. Oh man. Oh, I love some crawfish coming down there to, uh, what do you call it? Red bone central. Y'all we're going, Oh man, that's going to be crazy. I know it's going to be off the chain. Houston. We have a problem. Let's see if we can't get it fixed. I'm going to slide through Dallas for three or four days. Going to go over to true kitchen and cocktails and slide through there. But most of the time it's going to be in Houston. Come back to Atlanta, decide whether I'm going to stay here, go to New York City. Uh, and then after that, uh, decide what's going to be next on the calendar for this year. Live from is going to be a large part of 2021. Lots of collaborations coming down the pipe. Uh, bigger and better things, people. Excuse me. Because at the end of the day, I think this gender war thing is over. Now it's time to hammer out and, and come to the table and make a deal. See, one man and one woman can always sit down and come to an understanding. It's when you talk about groups and infighting where the tensions get hot. So anyway, that was dope. If you got an iPhone 12, understand something. The new iPhone 12 does not work on the on these new Qi chargers or whatever. You're going to need all new chargers for this. Poor thing. Good phone, bad charging system. But anyway, more on that later. Until next time, people, your godfather is out of here. You know how we do this? Peace. We are almost gone. If you want to be a Money World girl, send your Money World audition in to me. But have some clothes on or at least, you know, I don't want your bucket naked. It ain't porn. It's a dance. Um, you can dress sexy and put on them heels. I want to try to profile Money World girls often. The new fly girls, the new soul train dancers, the new all that. You want to submit your music to the PhD or the, or uh, write a song, write a lyric, write some more of that stuff. And if you're using my content without my permission, you will get a strike. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You No permission, expect a strike. On YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and don't expect an email before you get it. Expect it to come down like lightning. <laughs> ass before you use stuff peace we are gone i'm a phd i'm a phd i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm a p h d shout out to all the Shout out to Lenny's mama. <laughs> Shout out to my next ex wife. So tell your good night.